Kim started just about a year ago yes. um, on this journey, and she came to Full Spectrum in January. We're approaching a big, big milestone right now. We're six pounds away from 200 pounds lost. Kim, what, what got you motivated? Tell me the, the beginning of it. Um, well, pretty much I had uh, a series of sports injuries uh, over the years. What and, sport? Uh, basketball, volleyball, softball, a little bit of everything pretty much, and uh, knee injuries, shoulder injuries, and I uh, lost the ability to exercise and pretty much just gained a lot of weight. I was close to 400 pounds a year ago. Um, sort of hard, sort of surreal, I guess it is. Um, and basically I had a great orthopedic doctor who started me on some special injections to get my pain under control. And uh, I hit the gym and hit it hard right after that because I figured that was the best knee was ever going to feel and I wanted to try to get ahead of it. And I started working out in June. Uh, mid-June last year. Physically, you feel so much better. Uh, yeah. what, what, are there, what are some of the kind of things that you're doing now that were really difficult before? Uh, just basic everyday household tasks. I mean, I mean, literally getting out of bed was hard to do before. Um, I'm spending a lot more time. I have a daughter who's uh, uh, finishing her second year at OSU. Spending a lot more time with her and being able to do things with her, which you know, I, I worked out with her last week, actually, and uh, she was telling me that, she's like, you know, Mom, I never thought I'd be able to say that I'm doing lunges with my mom and, and actually uh, and having her mom I do her a little bit. So uh, that's a lot of fun. So, my, you said Kim's approaching 50% loss or is above? 51% now. Yep. Um, body weight loss, I guess you would say. Yep, and then we're, we're approaching the 200-pound landmark total pounds loss coming up. And Mike, how much credit are you going to take for this? Uh, nothing at all. She makes it real easy, to be quite honest. I figured out from the very first day that I was dealing with a different beast. So my You okay with that? Yeah, I'm actually a little twisted, I guess is how I would be described. So it's my job to basically make it hard enough for her yeah. and within reason and actually pull it back a little bit. Good. She There's one. has no... Uh, governor on this she can't slow herself down so we kind of have to pull her back a little bit because you know it's like a you know rolling stone just keeps gathering gathering speed so she's rolling i suspect your diet has changed a lot oh yeah absolutely i drink lots of water and i've been really lucky because um i've had great personal trainers and mike's uh mike's my new addition and I, i'm really thankful for him I probably struggle more with eating enough because I work out a lot. Um, and uh, as Mike says, you need to fuel the machine. So I try to listen to him every once in a while. Sometimes I'm a little stubborn. So since you're not done yet, you're not on a course of maintaining yet, or do you feel you are? Um, actually, I sort of feel I don't feel like I'm dieting. Everybody always asks me about my diet, and um, it doesn't feel like dieting. I've just changed what what I eat and um, I mean I feel like I eat all the time actually because you know I'm eating more frequently through the day and uh, it takes me forever to grocery shop because I read everything um, I'm an avid label reader now yeah one of the things that I really wanted to do was to let you guys say to the public some advice so what kind of advice do you give to the public well, I, I would say, um, you know, everybody always asks me, you know, what I eat and those types of things. But, I mean, to me, the key is setting, um, like, little small milestones. I've had, like, lots of milestones. I didn't have, like, the great big one, you know. I think I sort of started off, uh, Tanya laughed at me um, because my goals were I didn't want weight loss to be the goal. I wanted, you know, mobility because I really wasn't mobile. I wanted to get some of my flexibility back. And, uh, and then I joked with her and said, um, and I want a muscle. <laughs> and uh, I think I got that, I've gotten those. So, um, you know, I, I would tell people set short goals. So I've had like, like I had a goal where I wanted to lose 50 pounds and then 100 and then I wanted to get under 300 pounds. Um, or under, yeah, under 300 pounds, isn't that crazy? Um, and under 200, 50% of my body uh, weighed, and 200 pounds is the ultimate. 
Uh, basketball we weight is not going to happen for me because um, I'm a lot more muscular than I was. Um, Muscles? Yeah. I, Way more. I probably weigh 28 pounds heavier than the last time I was in this size. Um, so it's that's not going to happen. I don't want to be a stick. So. And, and Mike, what kind of advice? You know, it's uh, the, know yourself, know what you'll do. If you're not going to come in and work mindlessly on the treadmill, find out the things you like to do. If you like to bike outside, if you like to run, play basketball, just stay active. And then the small frequent meals. You know, you don't starve yourself. I hate using the word diet. It's, it's just a meal plan. You're not starving yourself. People got the misconception you're starving yourself. It's, you can ask, ask her, it's every three hours. You should be eating small frequent meals. Just crank that metabolism up. And it's just, you know, wrapping your mind around. You got to eat. You got to fuel the machine. So, so you got to think of yourself like a sports car. You know, and you want to put the high octane fuel in there, and you're going to feel much better and work a lot quicker. A lot better. More efficient. Okay, well, Mike, congratulations to you. And Kim, congratulations you. to you. And thanks a lot for sitting down and, and telling people what's going on. No problem. Okay, good luck. Now we're cooking with gas. Here we are.